Hello kids, I am here again with the second chapter from your social studies textbook, How Our Earth Looks. Now before moving forward, let me remind you regarding the study online link where you can have access to all the videos, worksheets, assignments, the online tests and its results. Now children, before starting with the chapter, let me give you a small introduction. In the first chapter, we learnt about the Earth. The Earth is the only planet where life exists. On Earth, we can find several living and non-living things. So, everything which has life or everything that grows are living things. For example, plants, animals and human beings. And everything that does not have life, that does not grow, are called non-living things. For example, furniture, buildings, mountains, etc. Now children, our Earth is a very big planet. So, in this chapter, we'll be learning regarding the globe, maps, the water bodies, landforms and the directions. So, now let us start. The globe. Let us read the first point. The earth is very big and round in shape. It is like a huge ball. It is not possible to see the earth at one time. As I told you before, our earth is very big. And it is round in shape. How children it was proved that the earth is round in shape? In 1519, a Portuguese sailor, he started a Spanish expedition from Spain. He sailed in the same direction for three years and at last he reached at the same point. So it was practically proven that our earth is not flat and it is round in shape. It is spherical in shape. And it is not easy to study the whole earth at one time. That is why we use the model of the earth that is the globe. So read the second point. So we use a model of the earth to study it. The model of the earth is called a globe. So what is a globe children? I will repeat the model of the earth is called a globe. Now children the word globe comes from a Latin word globus which means sphere. Okay. Now let us learn about the globe. A globe has many colors. The blue color shows water bodies and other colors show different landforms. Now children, look at this picture of the globe over here. Can you find the major area which is colored in blue? So that area is the water bodies and the different colored areas here, these are the landforms. Now the globe is majorly used to describe, I mean to study about the exact ratio of the Earth's surface that is the uh, major portion of the earth consists of water that is the three-fourth of the earth portion consists of water and there is one-fourth of land. So the globe depicts the exact ratio of the land and the water. The globe also helps us to study about the continents, the different water bodies, the countries, the states and various cities. Now read the second point. It is not possible to show all the places on a small globe and it is not easy to carry a big globe from one place to another. Now children, it is not easy to carry a big globe for one, from one place to another. That is why we use several other measures to learn the earth, to study about the earth. Now children, uh, there is another negative aspect of learning, uh, of using the globe to study the earth. Now I will show you. We can rotate the globe. Now, I don't have a globe at home over here, but then I'll use a ball which is round in shape. Can you see the ball over here? Now, you can only see the part which is facing you. Can you see the part which is facing me? No, right? So, for that, we have to rotate it. If I rotate the ball, you can see the other part. In the same way, when we rotate the globe, we can study the earth. We cannot study the whole of the globe at one at a time. Now, let us see the second measure uh, of rega uh, regarding how to study the earth. That is the map. By using map, we can study the whole earth. Now, let us read. We can study the earth on a map. A map is a drawing of the earth or a part of it. What is a map, children? A map is a drawing of the earth or a part of the earth. Okay? Read the second point. Maps can be big or small. Sometimes we use large size maps and hang them on the walls. These are called wall maps. There are maps of different sizes, smaller, bigger. 
we have several maps in our textbook it says those are smaller in size right and there are larger maps bigger in sizes which are used in schools colleges and many other institutions read the third point we can know the political and physical features of a country through maps now children if you remember i had explained regarding the political and phys physical features of our country in the previous videos we'll go through them in the same video also now look at this picture children this is a picture of a wall map now the political map of india and the physical map of india now what is the difference between political map and the physical map political map states regarding the country the state the cities the physical map states regarding all the different landforms that is the mountains plains plateaus deserts islands rivers everything is mentioned in the physical map now this is the political map of our country india and this is the physical map if you remember i had told you the political map of india consists of the 28 states and the union territories and the physical map consists of the mountains deserts northern plains plateaus and islands if you remember children you can see in this map i can show you the thar desert over here the great indian desert can you see see can you see the deccan plateau over here and we have the west uh, sorry coastal plains over here in the east and the west and in the political map there are the different states this is the state uh, this is the state of gujarat can you see so this is the difference between a political map and the physical map now let us move forward maps can be small in size a book of maps is called an atlas now this is the picture of a atlas so what is an atlas a book of map is called atlas okay now a map on which the whole surface of the earth is drawn is called a world map the whole of the earth is depicted on a map is called a world map see this is a picture of a world map can you see the world map here you can find all the continents you can find the oceans you can find the countries this is a world map now let us learn regarding the oceans and the continents regard about this topic i had discussed in the previous videos let us take a small revision we have learned that three fourth of the earth is covered with water that water bodies are called oceans so the water which we have on the earth surface those are the oceans and how many oceans do we have we have five which are they pacific ocean atlantic ocean indian ocean southern ocean and the arctic ocean the world's largest ocean is the pacific ocean and the world's smallest ocean is the arctic ocean now the continents let us learn about the continents similarly very large areas on the earth are called continents and the rest of the land we have those are the continents one fourth of the earth surface is covered with land and those are the continents how many continents we have we have seven continents which are they asia africa europe north america south america australia and antarctica and which is the largest continent we have on the earth surface it is asia and the smallest continent is australia okay now let us move forward now children can you see this map over here and what difference can you find in this map see there is a compass drawn in this map can you uh, see the compass over here now what is a compass see the map you can find the picture of a compass on the map a compass is an instrument which helps to know the directions now a compass is used to know the directions how many directions we have children we have four we have four cardinal directions which are they east west north and south right so a compass helps us to find the directions okay now let us study forward there are four directions east west north and south these directions help to locate places on a map okay it helps us to locate different places on a map the compass is like a watch and has a needle which always points to the north direction can you find this picture of the compass it's look it looks like a watch right and can you see the ne needle over here 
it all it has needle and it always points towards the north see here it's mentioned zero degree so always zero degree is the north direction okay now i'll show you regarding the other ordinal directions in this map see children the directions always on the top it is the north direction okay the top will be the north the bottom will be south on your left will be the west and on your right will be east now these are the four cardinal directions and what are ordinal directions now look here between north and east this is north this is north and this is east so between this this is north east between north and west this is north west between south and east it is south east and south west is south west can you find these needles here these are four ordinal directions i'll repeat again north east north west south east and south west so i hope you are clear regarding the compass and the directions now this is a small home assignment for you which you have to learn learn and write the following defines the definitions first one is atlas a book of maps is called a atlas globe a model of the earth map a drawing of the whole earth or parts of it ocean a huge water body and the last one continent a large landmass i hope you understood the whole chapter stay home stay safe and enjoy learning thank you